Hi guys, in this tutorial, we're going to discuss about DICOM and how to convert DICOM files to image in Python code. Please take note, the installation of Python and virtual environment won't be discussed in this topic. So now, without any further ado, let's get started. To start with, we're going to create a new file. this one here call this file for that py okay the first thing we need to do is to import our package but this time I'm going to import py daikon as daikon next we're going to import our numpy as np then from peel going to import this package as well then import image Also, we need to also import OS. Okay. Make sure that you install all this package here. Let's say for this one, I'm going to install the, the NumPy. So, pip install NumPy. And also for the here you need to install pip install pillow enter once you have all this package then you're ready to go let's clear this one here okay the first thing we need to do is we need to call the path as our default, we save our DICOM files in this IMG folder. At this time, I'm going to call this file. Let's say images. Then using the OS, I'm going to list down the directory of the path. Now, next thing we need to do is we need to list down all the files inside the the path. So to do that, we need to call array file name. So what it does is we need to get all the uh, all the file content of that uh, directory. To do that, we need to close like this one then x x in ct images it x dot and sweep dot dcm okay. so what it does is all the files that ends with dcm will be collected or or list down here now once we have this one all the file name the next thing we need to do is to loop that file so that we will do the conversion. To do that, we need to call the for loop. Let's say name in array file name. <clears throat> okay, so next we need to call image. Then we need to convert. So to do that, we need to create a function convert with the file name. Now, since we'll be going to deal with function, we need to call this function or create one. To do that, we need to call the get file name and the directory. Okay. 
Next, I'm going to assign a uh, variable, or this variable here, I am. Then, we're going to assign the DICOM to read the DICOM files. VM read. So, we need to get the path. IMG slash class the direct this is the directory okay now I'm going to call that variable again and then this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert those pixel the pixel array and convert those to as uh, type going to convert to float now in this section here we're going to do the rescaling so to do that we need to call this variable rescale image okay so <clears throat> okay from here we're going to use the function of numpy with a maximum I am comma zero. Okay, then we need to type that with I am max okay let's check first just make sure now we have the max then this time we're going to Okay, so we're going to times that with 2 pi pi. So these are the load pixel. Load pixel. Okay. <laughs> Next is we need to find on this image so final image and numpy unit 8 unit 8 then we need to rescale scale image and this time we need to convert this to this is the integers pixel Then we need to call again this variable, the final image. This time we're going to use the property of field. Then we need or we need to uh, uh, read that from the array of the final image. Once done, we need to return this final image. Okay, so that's how it does for the convert. Now once returned, what we need to do is we need to uh, save this image. Now, for our path, we need to create a folder. This is our destination. So let's say uh, JPG. IMG. Okay. So for this one, I'm going to convert all the files in IMG to JPEG. Now we're going to call that path that slash JPG slash IMG slash plus the name then this time I'm going to assign the the extension to that jpg okay just to make sure that everything is okay okay so i think this is now okay for now we need to execute this file so we need to call pi.file4.py 
and enter. Okay, so we have an error here. So let's check. Module NumPy has no attribute unit 8. Okay, let's check. Ah, oh, okay. It should be UI or U integer. There you go. So np.uint8. Clear. Now let's try again. Good. So now we're going to check one by one. There you go. It seems everything is okay. Click here. Okay, good. So, that's it, guys. Okay. So, this is how you convert Tycoon files to image. That's it, guys. If you found this video informative, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. And see you guys in the next video series. Cheers!